एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू पहले अक्षर वर्चुअल क्लास रूम आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ इन योर होम्स इंजॉइंग आर वर्चुअल सेशन किड्स कैन यू टेल मी वॉट आर द बेसिक नीड्स ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग करेक्ट फूड क्लोथ एंड शेल्टर आर द थ्री बेसिक नीड्स ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल बट देर इज अ फोर्थ नीड ऑल्सो कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इट इज it is an entertainment enjoyment what do you do when you finish your school come back to home you might go to tuition classes complete your homework play with your friends after you finish school tuition homework playing lunch dinner you still get some leisure time yes leisure means that extra time you get after you finish your school and homework or the time your father gets when he finish finishes his office work whatever activity you do in this extra time is called a recreation and this is the topic of this week recreation is a time for relaxing having fun taking care of yourself recreational activities can be anything from like painting to playing sports cooking to reading dancing to traveling to different places it totally totally depends upon your choice just like you recharge your mobile recreational activities are there to recharge your body and your mind do you get the concept of recreation good now this week we are going to explore many recreational activities through a fantastic story some games and we will be giving you some demos of such activities also does this sound interesting great let us start the journey with a story you can read along with me here we go title of the story is granny remembers name of the author hello english and is illustrated by tanaya vyas Tanya came to see her grandmother while she was knitting. "Granny," said Tanya, "why are you knitting all of the time?" "Oh," said Granny, "this is my hobby. I love to knit. I can't do much else at my age." "But you do it constantly," said Tanya. "Knitting is an important skill, my dear," said Granny. "I can make my own clothes." I knitted clothes for your mother so we didn't have to buy the expensive ones in the shops. We saved a lot of money. You should learn how to knit, Tanya. That way you can make yourself a jumper or a pair of socks. Maybe you can also make something nice for your friends. I remember the days when we had many skills, said Granny. We fixed our own cars, made our own tools and household appliances, and we made repairs to our houses. We didn't call the local services because it cost too much for them to fix things for us. We learned these skills ourselves to survive, and knitting was one of those crafts which, unfortunately, as time has gone on, is being lost. But why are we not learning these skills, Granny? These sound really important. Times have changed, Tanya. We think we have less time to do the things these days. Actually, because of technology, we have become lazy. I recently knitted a jumper for your mother to wear at Christmas, and she loved it. Oh, there's something else we don't do any more. What's that? said Tanya. Letter writing. We didn't text or email when I was young. We wrote exciting letters to each other. It used to be really good fun. What did you write about? said Tanya. Oh, we would write letters to boys we liked and letters containing secrets to friends, notes of thank you, notes to ask for permission. and greeting letters at birthdays and at christmas 
and we wrote in to the local newspaper to try and win competitions. Was the world different back then? said Tanya. Was there color? Did things still stay on the floor or did they float around? Were things a lot bigger? No, no, said Granny. We had color and things did not take off and fly. Things were not bigger except for telephones. Telephones were bigger, said Tanya. They were huge and they sat on the table, said Granny. They had a round number pad and you twisted the dial to call a number. You placed the receiver to your ear, which was attached to a long cord. I would love to see one, said Tanya. There's one on the table, said Granny. I have decided I am going to learn some important skills, said Tanya. Having listened to your story, I feel it's necessary for me to improve. I am slacking. Well, you are a wise little girl, said Granny. What exactly are you going to learn? First, I learn how to knit, said Tanya. Then, I learn how to write letters. Then, I am only going to use an old-fashioned telephone, but only as long as it has unlimited text, calls and internet data. Granny laughed to herself. Post reading questions. What are three things does Granny remember? Tanya agrees to use an old fashioned phone, but on what condition? Reread page 5. Ask why is knitting your own clothes a good skill to have? Reread page 9. Ask what did Tanya think was real about the past? Reread page 10. Ask notice how Tanya looks at the old telephone. How does she feel? If you could have an item from the past, what would it be and why? Oh, wow! What a wonderful story it was! Wasn't that granny very cute? And she used to do so many things in her leisure time. Can you tell us what are all the activities your parents used to do when they were children? Comment in the comment box below this video. That's all for this video friends. See you in the next video with some exciting activities. Till then, stay home, stay safe.